Good evening, Zimbabwe, and I'm sure many of you have already heard the sad news that the Biden American government has decided to extend executive order sanctions upon Zimbabwe. Now, executive order sanctions are a separate branch of sanctions in that they are imposed by the American president utilizing his executive orders and powers. On the other hand, we have got the well-known sanctions that are in Zimbabwe, which is the Zidera sanctions. These were instituted by the parliament or the Congress of the United States, creating an act that will prohibit the Zimbabwean government, its parastatals, and its local governments from getting loans from multilateral lending institutions to rebuild Zimbabwe from its war and the underdevelopment of colonialism. And it will also stop Zimbabwe from getting the cancellation of colonial debts that came with Rhodesia or the debts that were taken to correct the underdevelopment that was caused by 90 years of colonialism. Now, the executive order sanctions are a different branch of sanctions. What they are done is that they are tailored to affect the engine of the economy of Zimbabwe. The Americans, together with the Europeans after the land reform, understood that Zimbabwe's economy is hinged on activities of its government together with private enterprise. And so what they did with these sanctions is they decided to target these players in the economy by targeting the government of Zimbabwe, its parastatals, its local municipalities together with its financial institutions and parastatals that drive agriculture, mining, the selling of resources and the building of this economy. They then went further to start penalizing the banks, the private companies, factories and making it difficult for these institutions to get payments made overseas to buy machinery overseas as their payment would be blocked by the United States financial system. And you must understand that 80% to 89% of all international transactions are actually done in US dollars. So when a Zimbabwean company wants to buy machinery inputs or to actually get payment for what it is that it is traded internationally, those payments have to come through American banking system and that banking system is enjoined by these executive orders to actually block those payments. We also understand that Zimbabwean companies are blocked from borrowing money from American institutions and institutions that are aligned with American financial institutions, the American economy or institutions from outside America that want to do business in America. So what this means is that even if Zimbabwe wants to transact with a Chinese bank or wants to buy machinery from a Chinese company, it becomes difficult for that Chinese company to ignore U.S. sanctions and give Zimbabwe what it needs because that Chinese company faces a threat of being penalized by the American government when it wants to do business in America, having its assets confiscated or its directors arrested if it did not get a license to trade with Zimbabwe from the Americans first. Now, it's very important for Zimbabweans to understand that when we talk about the government of Zimbabwe, we're not talking about a political party or political individuals. We're talking about the ministries of the government of Zimbabwe, ministries of education, health, social security. All the ministries that deliver basic services to Zimbabwe are the ones that are put under sanctions when the government of Zimbabwe is under sanctions. Now, for those of you who are going to read the sanctions list, it does not explicitly say that the Zimbabwean government is under sanctions, but it says that the Zimbabwean government is a threat to U.S. security, economic, and foreign policy interests. It then goes to say that the sanctions are on politicians, but if you read carefully, it says that it is on the government of Zimbabwe and any companies owned by the government of Zimbabwe. But to go further, it then says that anyone who assists the government of Zimbabwe with payments, technology, goods, services, logistics, and assistance as an NGO without a license from the United States government will be penalized. They will face secondary sanctions. And so this is the crux of the sanctions themselves. They are on the government of Zimbabwe. It's local municipalities that are not run by 
the same political party that runs the uh, national government, and also parastatals and companies owned by that particular government. But anyone else who does business with this government and 144 special designated nationals is also under sanctions. That means the whole of Zimbabwe. You as a taxpayer, you are assisting the government of Zimbabwe. You people that offer services to the government of Zimbabwe, those of you who are going to harvest your grain and sell it to the government of Zimbabwe, you have already broken the license laws of the United States in these executive orders, meaning they are under sanctions. These are the things that the Americans will not spell out, but what we are trying to spell out here. So the sanctions are on all Zimbabweans. And what we've been saying to the government of Zimbabwe is when we look at a combination of Zidera, which is targeted directly at the government of Zimbabwe and its parastatals, and then we look at the executive order sanctions that are directed directly at the government of Zimbabwe, private companies, banks, and investors of Zimbabwe, these sanctions are directly on the Zimbabwean people and collective punishment of the Zimbabwean people. So Zimbabwe and its government must stop looking at sanctions as a political problem, but to look at it as a legal problem and a human rights violation issue in the breaking of international law so that we can begin to take this to international courts like what Venezuela, Iran have done. And I would have to tell you that even though Iran is under UN sanctions, they've been successful at suing the United States government and winning a suit in the International Court of Justice. Let's create awareness about these sanctions and let's grow Zimbabwe.